another networking event, another success. Make sure you come to my next one, which lands on Valentine's Day. All the single ladies and all the single men, this is the place, come and network with business owners. I personally work in property and sometimes it can get a little bit too much going to the same networking events, meeting the same faces. This has been a breath of fresh air. So if you're thinking of coming down to the next one, get yourself there. The tickets will be in the link below. everyone how y'all doing yeah so literally like got back from the gym had something to eat I've got back to I've got a day full of back-to-back -back meetings so firstly um, I have a TEDx talk in probably 20 days I think it's 20 days and I really need to prepare for it because I've been busy on other tasks finishing my book off with a business mastermind, with my mentees, with my programs. So I really need to dedicate the next week to just mastering what my speech is going to be, what I'm going to be talking about. So I'm just about to get onto a Zoom call with one of my coaches who I've hired who for, for him to prepare me for this TEDx. And it's funny, it's funny because it's literally, um, it's literally on the, so I've got my, February Business Mastermind on Tuesday the 20th and then um, five days after that I travel to London for the TEDx so I really need to prepare for it. I think it's under 10 minutes so as long as I speak under 10 minutes but look with TEDx it's like it just increases pressure. It's like as soon as I've thought about TEDx it's like it doesn't matter how seasoned I am or how many videos I put out. Literally as soon as I think about TEDx and think about like because it's a big deal um, you're going to be on the red, it's a red, uh, like a little mat, round mat that I'm going to be on, um, so, like, you, you can't, you're restricted, your movement's restricted, um, there's all sort of different rules, like, you can't swear, so, you can't, like, there's so many things going on, so anyway, cut long story short, is, basically, I'm a professional, and I need to be prepared for it, simple as that. I'm just message um can you work on the um the next podcast um is it a promo video needs to be prepared right so, or where are you up to with that just just crack on with that and then i'll update you in a few hours um when what time we're meeting one of my editors messaging me asking me um 
what's next what, what what do we need to work on so and every day is different because if i need to do some videos we just crack on with them but anyway let me get on this zoom no 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 not cancelling it how do you Hey bro, um, I'm trying to get onto the Zoom link, but um, oh, it's joined with Google Meet, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So another thing is like part of my network, part of my um, my inner circle, people that are involved in my programs. Look, this is a journey that you will also go through because you're gonna want to improve your communication. You're gonna want to speak on big stages and do everything, everything what I'm kind of doing, right? Or because this sort of thing will increase your brand awareness and you know it will increase the assets that you you currently have right because your stock price will go up as soon as you start doing all these things so i'm working with different mentors and different coaches just to figure out who are the best ones so when it's time for you to um like let's say you want some sessions or you want you want to know who the best or one of the best um public speaking mentors, coaches are, then I can say, well, look, this is the person that you need to go to. Why? Because I've done it myself and I know that they're good. I need to join this, um, I need to join this Google, this, this thing, um, I don't want to be late. Hey bro, um, I'm waiting for you to join. Yes, brother. Yes, how you doing? I'm good, thank you. I'm good. How are you, man? Yeah, bro, you look so different. Look different? Yeah. Bro, it's the hair, man. I need the Is hair. it the hair? Yeah. Bro, you look like a different person. <laughs> I swear, I wouldn't have even recognised you, but anyway. <laughs> it's the hair, man. I'm getting a haircut tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. How you doing? You good? Sorry? You okay, yeah? You good? You well? Yeah, doing really, really well, thank you. Yeah, I had a gig this morning at a... Well, sixth form in Hertfordshire. So you do you do a lot of college talks, I've noticed, haven't you? Don't you? Loads, loads. Oh, yeah, because last time we spoke, I was at college, exactly, yeah. Because you know what? In education, mm. college is the best market. Right. Because schools don't have as much money. Universities are complicated. Like, there's a lot of people to speak to. Whereas colleges, there's usually a designated person for student development. Mm. And they tend to have, like, decent budgets. So that's why I call in on those. Right, okay, okay, yeah, 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 nice, so, okay, cool, um, so how are we doing, so, I'll tell you, bro, listen, you know, last month has been so crazy for me, I've not even been, um, like, really, I've not been concentrating on this TEDx, but I know, like, as soon as I put my mind to it, as soon as I put my head to it, like, literally, like, as soon as I concentrate, I start concentrating, like, we're there, right, so, like, I'm getting pressure from the TEDx, people this organizer saying you're the only person that hasn't sent your speech in and they say obviously because you understand like everything has to be approved right because this is not like a so anyway so i'm like give me till thursday so today as you know is thursday i said look i'll get you that over today and look the, let's just look at the without increasing like the pressure in my brain because it's only like under 10 minutes right I, I do, I, it's like I talk for a living, right? Yes. And it's not something I can't do. It's just, it's just the way sometimes it's just, we increase pressure in our own brains for no reason, right? 100%. Um, so today I really want to like, just, just know what I'm talking about. Okay, I know my topic is fitness and business are connected. Now we just need to really create just some sort of a storyline. So I can like walk away from here thinking, you know what? All right, cool. I just need to now practice it, practice it, practice it. So then, um, and I'll do all that even if I have to stay up all night to do. Cool, cool. Sounds good, sounds good. I think it's good. The, the, the last email that, that we, we sent each other was like the like an initial draft. Yeah. Where we had like, so kind of what I've written down here was the intro was like approximately three minutes. Then you have the main body, which is supposed to be five minutes. And then the tangible takeaways at the end, mm. which is a lot of three minutes. So that's, that in total is about 11, 
nine, nine to eleven minutes, which is which is perfect, really. Yeah. It's perfect. So I guess having that breakdown makes it easier. Yeah. And then, so yeah, I'm looking at it now just to remind myself. You look at that. Let me just get some water, bro. Give me one second. Yeah, fitness, obviously when you mention, when you when we mention fitness, everyone just thinks, you know, gym, weights, treadmill. But I don't mean that. Yeah. I mean that and everything else. Yeah. 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 And then the last bit was the takeaways. So here are three things every entrepreneur should, can do from today. Hmm. And then these are the benefits that it will do to your business. Yeah, yeah. So which draft are you looking at? Because I've got a draft here. Yep. I'm sure, you, did you send me this draft? I believe so. And then I told you to basically fill in a few blanks. Yeah, because I'm looking at a draft. I don't know if you sent me this or I sent you this. Um, Has it got the intro with approximately three minutes? Um, no, I, I'm looking at a document here. Which is, one sec bro, oh yeah, 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 I've got it, yeah, got it, yeah, cool, yeah, I was looking at a different document, alright. Amazing, so yeah, basically, you know, the easiest way to, to, to nail it is, let's, let's nail down what we want to say for the intro, Yeah. let's nail down what we want to say for the main body, and then let's nail down what those three tangibles are mm. on, on, on every entrepreneur should do this and these are the benefits that it will do to your business. And then once we have those, then all the stuff around it can be worked on. But I just want to have like a actual skeleton. Yeah, cool. So, so it says up here, right? Um, if, I, if I was to tell you that I went from earning £20 a week, working um, eight hours a day for 10 years... To become an author, award-winning business owner, a trust all accol all accolades. I I've not won no awards, so I think we need to remove that. Okay, cool. I haven't won any yeah, awards yeah. yet, bro. No, no, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was just the overview that I was thinking. Yeah, about. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Cool. To become an author, yeah. Oh, that was just, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Okay, so today, what, what should we, what should we just? Go through. Shall we just go through the intro now, right now, then? And... I believe so. So let, let's just read. Let's just read over it for now. Okay. So we can have it, and then we'll kind of go. So shall I read through this now? Yeah. Yes, please. Okay, and I'll and and I'll, and I'll do you wanna you wanna adjust it then, or, or shall I? Yeah. Or. So as you read through it, I'm yeah. basically gonna make bullet points. Cool. All right. Fair enough. And you just have those kind of bullet points. All right. Okay. So if I was to tell you that I went from earning. £20 a week, working eight hours a day for almost 10 years to becoming an author, a business owner. I need to say that better. That's just stupid. Right. To becoming an author. Mm. Okay, so what we can do... Okay, to becoming an author and building multiple seven figure businesses Love that. what would you think Love that. right yeah. you'd probably think i blocked everything and put a laser focus on my business ventures but that's wrong 
you can probably tell I've spent some. What well, I'll just read through it and then I think the second time we'll 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 we'll, uh, we'll adjust it right because because I, I, right now I'm I'm looking at it and then I'm just overthinking it right. You'd probably think I blocked out everything and put a laser focus on my business ventures, but that's wrong. You can probably tell I've spent some time in gym. Ha ha joke. And this has played a huge part in my entrepreneurial career. So today I want to show you how business growth and fitness are connected. Please raise your hands if you would like to better your health. And then hands will obviously go because everyone wants better health. Uh, okay, I'm assuming you've all taken new gym memberships then, hey? Right? On the basis of like his new year resolution, right? I find it fascinating how we all say we want to be healthier, but we live in a society where I had a statistic, statistic where... Yeah, so here, so, so because... Obviously, this, you're an expert in this, in this field. Yeah. So, you know, everyone's going to put their hand up. And, yeah, the idea is to say, I find it fascinating. Like, everyone wants to be healthier. Mm. But we live in a world where 20% of people have obesity or whatever. So we need to add a statistic. Yeah, but we live in a society where 95% of the people are just fucking obese. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and unhealthy yeah. yeah and you know what the health problems are nothing but on rise we need some stats sprinkle around the talk to beef up the credibility right okay you're telling me that okay okay yeah yeah bro you know what it's because it, what <laughs> what I don't want to be there is like a you know like a healthy like it's a it's a balance I need to find here isn't it 100% 100% cuz the last thing I want to be is like a doctor in the room who talks about health <laughs> But this is just the intro as well, right? Mm. So this is kind of just an intro. Yeah. Business owners and entrepreneurs across all industries focus on building high-performance teams, innovating products, and more effective sales funnels, but they forget to build the most important thing to any business themselves, their health. Look, I've been there, a hungry entrepreneur, chasing the big business milestones, thinking the next big client is way more important than what I put in my body, what I eat, how much I rest, how much rest I get, how much sleep I get, or when my next gym session was going to be. However, spending 10 years in jail gave the shift in perspective that allowed me to understand what was truly important to my business, and that was my health. Not just physical health, like mental health also what you eat what you drink what you watch who you hang around with who rings your phone every day yeah so how long did it take before the um tedx uh, actually comes out huh the, what, the youtube um, upload yeah uh, about three months oh so it comes out after three months yeah so we did it in october video in october and it came out January. Hmm. Yeah, but you know sometimes when you go on TEDx, yeah? Mm -hmm. Like, I can imagine it's a big deal in it. Yeah. So, do people actually do get nervous and they just mess up the whole script? Yes, bro. Fuck. Mass like, I saw it happen time and time again. So, what does someone do? What do you do if you're, you're on the, like, you've been... <laughs> you've been... <laughs> you've been introduced, yeah? You've come onto the red cir the spot thing that you have to stand on, the, the red mat round circle, yeah? yeah? You've got a room full of, like, audience of, like, 200, 300, 500 people sat there yeah. staring at you. Yeah. And you fuck up your lines. Yeah. Like, where are you, what are you going to run? What? Yeah. Or the organizers, no one in the audience knows your lines. Yeah. So even if you mess up, mm. no one will know unless you make it obvious. So you have to get good at. Also, some some TEDx some, some TEDx are just absolutely terrible. Bro, you know what? I need you to send me some terrible ones. Do you know why? 
because I'm going to watch the terrible ones and I'm going to be like, ah, oh, I can do better than that. <laughs> if I watch the best ones, I'm like, oh shit, I've got a long, long way to go yet. But if I watch the shit ones and the terrible ones, I'll be like, oh, I can do better than that. And then if I do it better than that, I'll feel a lot more... Send me like, you need to send me today, send me like five. I'm gonna send you five bad ones. Yeah. Send me five bad ones. Bro, I will, I will send you five bad ones. You'll see it like they are awful, man. Yeah. Yeah, because I feel like mentally that will just give me like an edge and feel like, oh, well, I definitely can do better than that. <laughs> but obviously I'll do a lot more better, but then I'll compare the good ones, I'll compare the bad ones, I'll be like, okay. Because, you know, I'm just trying to psychologically think of all different angles. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That gives me a bit of an edge. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, yeah, man, it can happen. Like, you could go up there and forget your stuff. Oh, that would be... Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I'll be like, please, God. The main thing is, what you have to remember is you're there to tell us why business and fitness are connected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nah, I'm not, I'm not forgetting this first intro now that we've smashed this first intro. I'm just going to constantly, constantly repeat myself this. This is the intro. I'm going to, I'm going to do it. And then it's about then going into it. And then that, the middle part, I leave it loose because obviously I need to be myself. Yeah. And then we need to finish off the ending with a strong ending. Yeah. All right, well. That call was super helpful, um, hugely helpful. I feel like I've got my first introduction part out of the way. Um, I've also got my story and my finishing out of the way. I just need to practice it. So the my the coach, the mentor, whatever you want to call it, um, is based in London. So what he does is he puts workshops on every single week and invites people on. So they can speak in front of each other and just loosen up them nerves, right? So I'm going to go down next week to London to speak to like 20, 30 people. Just get my speech, my talk, just practiced. It's all about repetition, all about repetition. It's not like I don't know how it works. And look, for those that everything in life works the same, you do more of it, repetition, you focus, you know, you get better at it. Simple as that. Then the week after... I'm going to go to London again. I've asked him, look, I want to come again. Because the reason I want to be speaking about the same thing in front of people is because I can just practice it and get the nerves out of my system. So when the TEDx does come round in, I think it's two and a half, three weeks, I'm just super prepared for it. I'm going to practice this every single night. Um, so that's that. Okay, so today that call is done. Now I'm going to do a little bit of work. I've got to go through my book and just give final approval. So that gets signed off. That's going to probably take me a few hours. I might start it today. I might not. I've got um, a meeting with um, the woman that does my funnels and my messaging on my websites. So that's going to be in about half an hour. Then I'm flying over to Dakota where I've got um, another meeting with my TikTok manager and Spotify and Apple manager to see how we can run ads and see how we can, you know, we can do something with ads because TikTok is, is a great platform for ads at the moment um, just because the cost is low. Now, what are the results? I don't know. That, that We're going to have to wait and see. Um, but at the moment, because a lot of people don't do ads on TikTok, you know, it's a good platform to do ads on just because the cost will be low. Um, but again, the results, I, I don't know yet. Then from there, I've got um, a Zoom meeting with um, a bunch of great people, let's just say, um, at seven o'clock for one hour. It's like an accountability call, um, just to make sure that uh, running after, these are the people that attended my business mastermind, great entrepreneurs. And so I've got an accountability call with them just to make sure they're implementing the stuff they learned in the business mastermind and just overall how they're getting on and we're just going to just have a little catch up at seven o'clock. Then I'm going to have a shower. 
So just back to back for now. So yeah, that's what's happening. Just remembered something. One of my properties is um, leaking. Problems after problems after problems. And I'm just gonna um, ring them up. See if the agents can get anybody down. Hey, love, you okay? Um, I'm just um, a landlord of one of the properties that you guys manage. Um, I've got a tenant that got in touch with me from downstairs. He's saying that um, the tenant, so it's a two bedroom, it's, it's two flats. So upstairs, they've, they've turned the bathroom on and it's leaking, it's coming into the downstairs flat, the water. Okay. Who am I speaking to, You're speaking to Ibby. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, well, I've got that now, yeah. Shall I... Have you got an email? Or shall I send you on a number? Have you got a WhatsApp number? Uh, yes. You can use my WhatsApp What's your WhatsApp number? 07. Yep. Yep. Yeah, just uh, just one second. Yeah, so you know it's funny you say that because, sorry, what's your name? My name's Emma. Emma. Mm -hmm. So are you the, are you the manager up there? Yeah. No, no, I just work here. All right, okay. Yeah, so I'm just, I'm just, what it is, I'm just saving your number, so I have to save it in order to, you know, send it. Yeah, well, he's saying that. So, 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 what's happened is before somebody moved into the upstairs flat, you guys moved someone in a few weeks ago. Um, th this issue happened a while back, but we thought it got fixed. But obviously, clearly, it's it's not fixed yet. I don't know. So, I'm I'm sending it now. If you give me one second, yeah. No, it's gonna come. I, I'm just making sure. Yeah, this is, you know, it just, I spent about, I think I spent about 45 grand. Yeah, I spent about 45 grand doing the properties up. And, you know, it, it's just so sad because it just goes to show that the, some of the builders that have done that job have just done a poor, poor job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can you can just WhatsApp me, and and so I know it's you. Well, I know it's you anyway because I've saved your number now. So yeah, you can call me whenever. Oh. So this happened last week, and then this morning again. That's what I mean. But you, but Emma, listen to this, right? So about three months ago, sorry, about. Yeah, it's just a few months back. Anyway, before so, so this happened, um, this happened before as well. So we, so then I think it was Tina sent someone to fix, you know, the bathroom panels or something, because that's where he was coming from. But clearly something's not been fixed. So we need to look into this a bit more. Thank you. Have a good day. Anyway, why I was laughing for is because I got the number. I absolutely hate it when I ring them and they say, well, send an email and blah, blah, blah. It's like just palming you off. But I tried to get their WhatsApp numbers straight away because I'm a WhatsApp guy. I quickly like, I like to respond on WhatsApp. I like to work on WhatsApp. So wherever you like to work, if you're an email person, then that's fine. But for me, like I needed to get the number. As soon as I got the number, I was like, yes. Because look, a lot of people don't like to give their personal numbers, right? So it might be a work number, whatever. But it's all about clothes. It's all about closing. It's all about 
getting to the solution as quick as you can, right? Because now within that call, I got the number, I sent over the problem, what I sent over the images, the videos, I dealt with the problem. So hopefully now it's just that it's on them now to get it sorted. It's off my head. It's, I've passed it over within like three, four minutes. So yeah, just saying, just saying. It's all about the clothes. It's all about the clothes. Yeah, also, guys, look, my next business networking event is on Wednesday, the 14th of February. I've not even really advertised it too much and I've already got like... Uh, I think is 15 tickets sold. We've only got capacity for 25 people. So when I put it on next week, or we've got a group chat where <coughs> there's already about 50 members in there that are going to get snapped up. So yeah, looking forward to that. And also, yeah, my next business mastermind is on Tuesday, the 20th of Feb. Uh, unfortunately, there's no spaces left. There's Listen, I've been watching some of the um, introduction CVs that have been coming in. I'll tell you what, these business owners, entrepreneurs, whatever you want to call them, like, th these guys are bosses, I swear to God, like, they are, they're running businesses, real businesses, do you know what I mean, bricks and mortar businesses, some are online coaches, and yeah, amazing, I cannot wait to help them, like, I thrive off it, like, I'm super happy, like, I know, like, I can help each one, but it's, that's because of the experience I've got, like, I've got bricks and mortar experience in businesses, I've dealt with, like, staff, I know what happens today, like I'm involved in boards I sit down with, like I'm a non-executive director on many businesses. I give advice to them, um, I tell them how to, the best way to recruit staff, um, the best way to set certain contracts up, the best way to do certain things. Like I know a lot um, when it comes to marketing, hiring, um, staff, how to run businesses, the operations of businesses. So yeah, just super pumped to have 14 incredible and it's 14 people coming this time i think last time it was 12 yeah no no actually there's 16 15 or 16 people coming anyway, unless someone drops out but yeah just can't wait for that and i've got like an experience in there lined up as well last time as you've seen from videos it was breath work this time a little bit different so yeah I'm, I'm super pumped for that and help them show them how they can scale their businesses to six and seven figures depending where they are on their journey. Uh, everyone wants to have 20K, 50K, 100K months, right? But look, everything starts from a journey. It starts from step one. So yeah, that's that. After February, I'm not going to do any business mastermind in March, um, but I am going to do one in April. So for if you if you're an entrepreneur or some sort of an expert or you know wherever you are maybe you're transitioning you want to be a business owner do, doesn't matter what level or what where you are on the journey come to my April mastermind you will take so much away from that uh, doesn't matter what level you're on like even in this one there's people the entrepreneurs that are at different levels just imagine the connections that you're going to make amongst yourselves so yeah it's going to be a room a priceless room to be in. So I would definitely join the waiting list. All you have to do is join the WhatsApp community, my community. Then under that, there's lots of different groups. Just request to join the waiting list or the April Mastermind waiting list, I think it's called. Um, and I'll accept you on there. But yeah, just, just looking forward to helping everyone. And look, do what you love. Do what you are really, really passionate about. Do that in life. But yeah, that's where we're up to with everything. So back to back to back to back meetings let's go hello 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 yeah i'm just about to jump on a quick zoom with uh, my marketing team that do my funnels to one of my sites um Yeah, we'll just leave that on white because it just it's annoying me. Recording in progress. Hey, 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 Alison. <laughs> How are you doing? Are you well? Good, how are you? Yeah, good, really, really well. How about yourself? Yes, 
I'll tell you what, Jan January's already flown, hasn't it? Always does. Always does. Have you been busy? I know. I have been busy, yes. Okay. Good, good, good. Well, I think I've had a great start to the year as well in terms of how things are going in terms of um, just focus and intensity. Um, so I feel like we are on a good path. Um, oh, I done. Um, I done a. So in this in this month so far, I've done a business mastermind. I've done. Um, I've. What else have I done? I've uh, done all my. Can you hear me properly? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I've done. Um, I've done recordings for my videos. Um, my programs. So there's. <coughs> there's a lot of things that I've got done. So that's that's a good thing. Um. I think now, the reason I wanted to speak to you is because I wanted to let you know which direction I'm going in. So we just kind of, because it's important, you, you, you understand what's happening. Um, so we can sort the website, the, the copy and all that sort of thing out, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, so, so, so that's where, where I'm up to. So, so let me just give you some feedback on the business mastermind, first of all. So, so obviously this first one, it was a very... It was a very last minute thing. I wasn't planning to do one in Jan. I was actually going to do one in Feb. But what happened was I opened up a WhatsApp community and I said, join my WhatsApp community, right? And where I was advertising on my YouTube videos that I do and, you know, uh, on my Instagram. And I actually thought it wasn't going to be an interest. And all of a sudden, Alison, like I had like 50 people join. All right, so my battery died on my camera. Otherwise, you know, I'd be using that to do this vlogging but you know we've got to adapt so i'm just on the way to meet my tiktok manager at um dakota to discuss um a campaign plan for tiktok because i want to start using ads on tiktok um yeah all right guys so i'm just getting ready for my accountability call i've got great entrepreneurs coming on and we're just gonna problem solve see where anyone is struggling see how we can all help each other it's all about it's all about community it's all about everybody helping each other that is the main thing and it was on the back of my mastermind why not right so looking forward to this um yeah super excited super super exciting super super exciting super super exciting hey babe hey, hey, hey can you hear me hello um, can everybody hear me? Can you hear me, yeah? Yeah, I can hear. I can hear you now. Yeah, I had my, uh, I'm a laptop on mute. How are you all? Good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, good. Aisha, how are you? I'm good. Just got back from the gym. <laughs> really? Yeah, I just had my CrossFit class, went to cold shower and still haven't cooled down. Yeah. <laughs> um, Robert, how are you? I'm just admitting everyone in. Who guy are you guys familiar with Zoom? Like do you get guys use Zoom a lot? Yeah. I do sometimes. Hi guys. Hey, hey, how are you all doing? Um, also, I seen one more thing you was doing. So you done a story where you said if you want to join my program, email me your emails, yeah, something like that. You yeah. said, is that working? Well, I've got about, I've got ten emails so far. Well done. Oh fucking hell, it is working then, yeah. What do you mean that's good? But that, yeah, that's very good, yeah. But it, but also you can change it up as well, you like because. Happen. You know, sometimes when you ask somebody for an email, they get a bit defensive. So if you can create some sort of a cheat sheet or something and say, um, DM me cheat sheet or DM me tips for SA and I'll send it to you. Now, automatically, when they send you um, the DM cheat sheet or, or service accommodation tips, you can then... Ask them for their email address behind the scenes rather than asking in front of the face, you know, you know, blatantly. It's just little things like that. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll think about that as well. Thank you. But also, you know, I think we mentioned it in the uh, in the call, uh, sorry, in the day. Um, I'm also thinking about implementing like a free quiz to like 
that getting them answering some questions and yeah, uh, the love end, that. They put their email address in then yeah yeah love that, think about that all the well. all these things are good it's all trial and error just try all these things it's really good everyone loves a quiz yeah. so something i must say actually i have advertised for a, um, a, um, a virtual assistant for sales for the past week mm. um no one's particularly applied. I've now just paid for an advertisement on a different website. I've got two applications, but they haven't sent me the full information about what I've actually put on the application. So I asked for them to do a voice recording, a video of themselves talking, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And you know, this is also looking at their attention to detail because if they're going to put an application forward for a job and they haven't put forward all of the application points, mm. well, they haven't read what I've asked you to do. So I've had two applications, but they haven't put the full details forward. So I just wondered, is there any other platforms that I could be kind of looking for sales staff and virtual assistants? Because I'm struggling to, to find them at the moment. All right, guys. So that's the last call of the day. I've actually have got one more meeting. Uh, I've got to head back to Dakota. You know, when I was on the way to Dakota earlier on, and my battery died, so I couldn't record the um, my meeting with the manager, you know, for the TikTok ads. So anyway, I had to come back, Zoom, then I have to now go back. I've got another meeting at Dakota, and then, then I can um, rest up, and I've got some more work I've got to do with my funnels and marketing. But listen, thank you for sticking with me. I appreciate you all. Um, yeah, see you on the next vlog.